doesn't love a good bread roll with a meal? Have you ever tried adding butternut squash to it? I bet not, but you should. Buttery butternut squash bread rolls. I got this recipe from Food and & Wine, and this video is a part of the QKD partnership with FWX. By now you guys probably know I'm a fan of root vegetables. Let's do this. First, you'll want to make a puree out of your butternut squash. So cut it into cubes and then take about a cup of that squash and boil it for 20 minutes. Strain and blend and you've got your puree. Combine that with milk and sugar in a saucepan and whisk it over low heat until the milk is lukewarm and the sugar is dissolved. Take the pan off the heat, whisk in the egg and yeast, and let sit for about 10 minutes. All right, let's get cracking on this dough. So you've got four and a half cups of flour and mix in some salt. Slowly beat in the warm milk mixture until it's well incorporated. The most efficient way to do this would be to use a stand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment, but I don't like to show things that a lot of people can't do if they don't have the right equipment, so I'm proving here that you can do this recipe just using your hands. Add seven tablespoons of butter bit by bit so the dough can incorporate it. Transfer the dough to a lightly oiled bowl and turn to coat. Then cover it with plastic wrap and then let it stand in a warm place until doubled in bulk about two hours. Now divide the dough into their bread rolls. There should be about 36 equal pieces. Place on a baking sheet. Let these sit in a warm place until they're doubled in size about an hour. Meanwhile, preheat the oven to 400 degrees and then bake them for 15 to 18 minutes until they're golden and cooked through. And enjoy. There you have it, a dinner table staple with a new and super delicious ingredient. And FYI, these won't last long at your next dinner party. That is what's up!